shake your arm a little and put them on your lap. Put your feet on the floor. Let the breathing exercise help you to focus and center. Whenever you feel distracted, focus back on breathing. Now do three deep breaths. Today I am reading from the scripture, Book of Psalm, chapter seven, verse seventeen. I will give thanks to the Lord because of His righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. Book of Psalm, chapter sixty-three, verse three to six. Because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of food. With singing lips, my house will praise you. On my bed, I will remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Book of Luke, chapter one. Verse sixty-seven to seventy-five. His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, "Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because He has come to His people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of the servants David, as He said through His holy prophet of long ago." Salvation from our enemy and from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestor, and to remember his holy confidence, the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to rescue us from the hand of our enemy, and to enable us to serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And I want you to take three deep breaths. And as I read the passage for the second time, please pay attention what was stood out to you. You may put both of your hand where your heart is, and pump your heart a little gently as we read the scripture. As we do the breathing after each scripture reading, please repeat the words stood out to you in your mind as you do the breathing. So here is the scripture again, Book of Psalm, chapter seven, verse seventeen. I will give thanks to the Lord because of His righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. Book of Psalm, chapter sixty-three, verse three to six. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of the food. With singing lip, my how my mouth will praise you. On、oh, my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. And. Book of Luke, chapter one, verse sixty-seven to seventy-five. His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, "Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because He has come to His people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of the servants David, as He said through His holy prophet of long ago." Salvation from our enemy and from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestor and to remember his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to rescue us from the hands of our enemy and to enable us to serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. 
Now I want you to take another free deep breath. And I want you to spend the next two minutes in quiet reflective prayer. Meditate upon the word that you just heard and ask God to reveal to you what He meant for you to learn and to get comfort from. And by the end of the two minutes, we will refocus on breathing exercise. And let's focus on breathing again. Take three deep breaths. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Yes, thank you. We give thanks because of your righteousness. And I will sing praises to you of your name. Forever and forever. Although at times we cannot see through what is happening to us, but the solution is already presented. It's just waiting for your perfect will and perfect timing. For you have a plan to prosper us, not to harm us. That we shall rejoice at all times, because we know you are with us. You are with us, and you're here to help us. And yes, your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. I will sing praise as long as I live, and in your name will lift up my hand. No matter what we desire out of life, you are the only one that can reach us where nobody can. Help us in way nobody can understand it in a way nobody can, and it is in that we find our true peace, true confidence in our salvation because of you. Yes, I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of food, and at night I will remember you. On my bed, I remember you. And I think of you through the watches of the night. Every night you guard my sleep. Every night. And if my time is not love, if you don't call me back to you, no devil of the night can take my soul. And I praise you for your truthfulness and faithfulness in watching over us every night as we sleep. And yes, thanks, Zechariah prophecy, that you come here 
to save us, to redeem us. You prophesied that long ago that in the house of David there will be a redeemer. To to remember the covenant you have with Abraham, that you will rescue us from our enemy and enable us to serve you without fear, because you put love in our heart, not fear. And in front of you, you deem us righteous because of Jesus' blood. And how precious is that gift, the restoration of a relationship with you, that we have this personal relationship with you. Let us not then let it go wasted by running away from you, from not confronting to you, from not just being. Who I am when I come to you, because all you desire is just to have that relationship with us, to always ready to restore us, to give us strength, renewal, new hope, new guidance, and renew everything we have, and just forget everything from the past and just run toward you. That's all you want, and that's all it means is the well toward. The day Christ died on the cross and then raised again, because because there's nothing else can pluck us from your hand right now. There's nothing else can pluck us from your hand right now. Our transgression is as far from the east and from the west. And I pray in Christ's name that we will remember what that meant, what the cross meant, how. The relationship was restored with the blood of Christ, and that we will cherish this relationship. I pray this in Christ's name, Amen. Now I want you to focus on free deep breath again. As I read the scripture for the third time, please pay attention to a word or two that will help you recall and meditate on the word throughout your day. Whenever you feel stressed or need anything from the Lord, just quiet yourself for thirty seconds, focus on breathing, and recall the experience and the word that will help you remember this passage. And as we do breathing exercise after each scripture reading, please repeat the word that stood out to you in your mind as you do the breathing. So here is the scripture again, Book of Psalm, chapter seven, verse seventeen. I will give thanks to the Lord because of His righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. Book of Psalm, chapter sixty-three, verse three to six. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of food. With singing, lit my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Book of Luke, chapter one, verse sixty-seven to seventy-five. His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, "Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because He has come to His people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of His servant David, as He said through His holy prophet of long ago." Salvation from our enemy and from the hands of who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestor and to remember his holy covenant, and to owe his sword to our father Abraham, to rescue us from the hands of our enemy, and to enable us to serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. Now. 
please do free deep breath again. Thanks God for your word, your word is sufficient, today, yesterday, and forevermore. Pray all in Christ's name, Amen. Slowly shake your arm and leg, and shake your shoulder as you open up your eyes again.